everyone. This is Kate with Scott RM Marketing. Today, I'm going to go over with you how to create an email signature in Command and how to add that to your KW email. So the first thing we want to do is log into Command at agent.kw.com. And from there, we're going to go over to the Designs applet. You can find the Designs applet by hovering over these um, or hitting the red and white KW to view those um, and their names. The design section looks like a paintbrush with a canvas behind it. So we're going to go ahead and navigate there. Now from there, we're brought into our designs dashboard. Now yours may look a little different. These are previous designs that I've created. So if you haven't quite got started in designs yet, you may not have anything just yet. Now the next thing we're going to do is hit create a design. Um, if you're not seeing create a design, you may have a plus sign in that same color down here in the right hand corner and you'll click that. Now from there, we're going to go ahead and hit social and we're going to do next. And then we're going to go ahead and wait for our command design section to load. Now, once we're in command design section, we are brought into the templates section of command. Um, looks like they've recently done an update. We're gonna go ahead and close out of that. From here though, we're gonna take a look at our different categories on the left-hand side. I'm gonna close down a couple of these, minimize those, and we're gonna head for business basics. Now, if your business basics is not expanded, it may look like this. You'll go ahead and click that little arrow from there, you're going to see we have some of our basic design categories, um, and we're going to take a look at this email signatures. Now, from there, you're going to notice we have two different designs that we can choose from, whichever design we'd like to create. We're going to go with this red one today, and we're going to hit use. Now, once we hit use, we're going to be brought into the WeBrand editor, so we can go ahead and start customizing this to look how we would like it. Um, we can go ahead and click on our photo. And as long as you have your assets already included in your command, you should see those assets over here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're clicked on this photo. We're gonna use the replace image, which is a double arrow. Now, when we hit that replace arrow and we are selected on that photo, it's gonna add that to that exact same space of the photo we're already in. If we're not clicked on a photo and we were to come over here, you'll see that replace is gone and we just have the option to add. So if we were to do that, it's going to add a brand new photo. Um, if you do that by mistake, you're just going to hit that little remove button and delete that or use the delete on your keyboard. Now we're going to go ahead and adjust this logo. Again, if these are in your assets, it makes it super easy because you can go ahead and just come down here and replace that. Now, if we wanna change our title, if we go by broker or whatever, we can double click here and adjust this. If we need to remove that little R next to it, we can certainly do that as well. Um, if you're not leaving Realtor there, you're just gonna delete on the keyboard or use the trash can. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is edit your name. Now, you can either double click like I did for broker or you have the option to click on that name and use the typewriter. Now clicking the typewriter will bring open a box where you can start to edit that. We'll go ahead and save changes. We wanna enter our license number. Again, same thing, you can double click or use the typewriter, whichever one you are more comfortable with. You can adjust your address for the market center. And this is another one, if you've updated your assets in command, you should see those text assets over here as well. And you can quickly pull those into your um, email signature. Now, I'm going to leave that as it is for now. The next one is going to be the information here. So we have phone number for myself, office, email, and my website. Now, if we were to select the assets and replace those, unfortunately, we'd replace all of them with one item. So in this case, sometimes it is easier to just edit the one thing. We'll leave this one as five by five. We'll go ahead and change the email. We'll make that support at Scott Roy marketing.com. And we'll change our website. 
Um, and then once we're all good with that, we can go ahead and swap out our app. Now, if you had a QR code like we do, instead of using your code, you could of course add that um, image instead. We'll go ahead and grab the app code. We'll add that. Or you can go ahead and and put that um, QR or that link, that branded link, that will work as well. Just switching it up so I can show you what that looks like. Then you can of course customize your email signature however you'd like, as long as you are within compliance of your local office. If you are not sure, you can always reach out to your Marcus Center staff um, and they can confirm if your email signature is compliant or not. And I'm sorry, I'm just having a little bit of a hard time clicking on that. We're gonna move all of this over to be closer. I'm just using the shift on my keyboard and clicking to grab all three of those items. And of course, if you did wanna adjust this anymore, if you wanted to move the logo, um, things like that, again, these are semi-customizable. You do, again, wanna make sure you are within compliance of your office. Um, if you don't like that line on the photo, um, things like that, you can certainly move those up. This is your email signature to customize how you'd like. Um, these are just templates. So if you want to completely alter that, you certainly can. We want to make these on each of their own lines. Delete this line here. We can certainly do that as well. Enter. If this looks better to you, you can totally do that. Um, once we are done with our email signature here though, we can go ahead and download that. We're gonna leave it as a JPEG. There's only one page you can see down here in the right-hand corner and we're going to hit download. Now, once our email signature is downloaded, we do like to host those on imgur.com. Um, hosting them just allows them to stay in your email signature and prevent them from disappearing at some point. Um, so it is a good idea to host it. We do recommend that. Once we've downloaded that, we can go ahead and drag our email signature over. And you can see we have it right here. If we right click on that, we can open the image in a new tab. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and copy the image address. Now this is gonna allow us to add that to our email signature um, in our KW email. So if you are logged into your KW email, which is the same as a Gmail account, You'll click on the little gear in the right-hand corner and go to see all settings. Now from there, you're gonna stay under general and scroll down until you find the signature section. Now, if you already have an email signature, you can of course delete that. You may not have one, Your may, yours may look like this. If it does, you can go ahead and hit create new. We're just gonna name it new signature. And then from there, we're gonna hit this little portrait looking uh, icon, which says insert image. And once we do that, we can do web, uh, web address URL and we can paste the URL that we copied from here and apply it here. Now, as soon as we paste that, you'll see that our image shows up. We go ahead and hit select. It's going to add that image to my signatures. Now I can adjust this to be original size, large, medium, small. Of course, you wanna make sure it is legible. So um, pay attention to that. If you wanna resize your text on your image, um, you can do that as well. These are going to be personal preferences for you guys. You would then need to re-download this and apply it, but just wanted to show you how to do that. Um, once you are satisfied with your email signature, the last thing you wanna do is make sure you turn on your signature defaults. So do you want your email signature to come up for new emails that you're creating? You'll go ahead and click that drop down and select the email or select the signature. And if you also want that to come on when you're replying or forwarding emails, you'll go ahead and turn that on as well. Now, once those are turned on, the final step to apply that to your email is save changes. Now, once that's done, you can hit compose so that you can view that and make sure it's working. Um, and from there, you should be all set. 
So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or run into any issues with downloading or adding that, um, please reach out to us at support at scholarrymarketing.com. We would be happy to help. Have a great day.